My name's Dem and I am a special needs teacher. I work with children that have severe learning disabilities, complex learning disabilities and autistic children. Um, my age bracket is primary, so mainly from the ages of 5 to 11. For many of my learners, um, they struggle with sensory processing um, and with communication. So those are two major barriers, being able to keep focus on something in a room when there's lights buzzing or there's noises going on in the environment or there's smells, sounds, um, they really struggle with attention so that's our biggest barrier um, and also with communication, children that aren't yet using verbal communication so that can lead to behaviours that can be quite challenging um, and frustration so we work a lot with communication devices and with sensory regulation to help children progress. So with the three children that I've been using um, QT with, um, they do struggle with social communication. They may use a little bit of communication to request something. If we plan sabotage something, hide something in a cupboard, they may pull you over to the cupboard to say, I want, I want that favourite toy. But um, they don't, or I haven't seen up till now, them using communication for pleasure or for fun. And with QT, it's been amazing. Two of my children now come into class and say, hello which is one of the apps, and goodbye, and Rodney even said the other day, see you later, which came out, of it. it wasn't even prompted, it was amazing, so to use communication for um, pleasure has been absolutely wonderful, yeah. Yeah, as soon as we show the symbol of the robot and go into the room, um, two of my children's faces just light up, they run straight in, and these are children that are hard to engage with, you know, structured learning, but they'll run in, sit down at the chair, and say, hello, and they're waiting, their engagement and focus, looking at QT, ready for him to ask some questions. I've, it's just been phenomenal, yeah. And their attention week by week is able to extend, so maybe it might be a couple of minutes to start off with, and then six weeks later, you've seen them be, some children being in there for 15 minutes. Yeah, so that's a big progress. I'm gonna use the same example because it is such a wonderful example, but with Rodney, we started saying hello with the robot, and then one day our lunchtime organiser left and he said goodbye so to the lunchtime organiser. She always says goodbye to him. Um, so that was amazing. Everybody in the room just was like, wow, that's amazing. Um, and then as we come in every morning and as we leave every day, we spoke to dad and mum when they're picking up and dropping off and just said, we're, we're modelling saying goodbye and hello. And over time now he says goodbye and hello to mum and dad to us when he's leaving and saying hello and also now to family members so we've seen that generalisation from QT to school staff and parents and then to the wider, his wider family so we're very pleased with that. Really easy to use, you plug him in, turn him on and away you go. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't recommend him anymore, absolutely wonderful and with my teaching assistants as well I spend 10 minutes, show them how to use QT and they're flying with him and using him as well now so mm -hmm. yeah. I mean that you are able to know the program it's set out and then anybody can do it basically so you are able to quality check and to know that the the activities that the children are going to be doing are robust yeah